No website is going to be important without menus. All websites need them to navigate through your website. Well, today I'm going to show you how to use them, how to add them, and I'm going to go over that tricky anchor that I spoke about in previous videos. So don't forget to subscribe, hit a like, and tell me what you think about our videos and what you would like to see in the future. Now cutting to the chase and getting straight into the menus, you're going to go to the Add Feature button, come down, and go right to Menu. And here you go. We're going to click Menu. You have theme menus, horizontal menus, vertical menus, anchor menus, and anchors. Now let's get over to the theme menus first. Now if we know what a menu is, it's just going to allow you to navigate through your website to get to specific content that you want to publish on your website. Now these are the themes that already have them, such as home, about, gallery, contact information, or just a home menu. So you can just grab here and drag and drop and here you go. Now we can go to manage menus because right here it's just one. Now we're going to add a page and we can add a link and we can add a folder as well. So we have a new page. Uh, let's just use hello for this page and we're going to add that page as well. All right now hello. Now here we go. Now here's our menu and you have new page and home. Now you see this here as well, the horizontal menu. Uh, we can move it and this is giving the option. So you can pin it to the screen and you can move it to the center or dead center of the page around the borders. And you can make it offset or the vertical offset and this just does exactly what this menu does as well. We're going to exit out and now you see it up here. Now to navigate, you're going to be able to just go straight to this or to click and this is navigation is just going to go straight to that page. Now you can have the layout. Now how's the text align? So you're going to move it and as you can see the text is going to move on the page. Now all items are the same size and you or not and items fill the whole menu or not. So however you would like. Now you can have it go from left to right, right to left, the same for the grids, for the galleries, etc. Now this is the menu items we can go to design and you can design that menu. Uh, now we have these, discover more menus, kind of how they're laid out, the text as well, and it just gives you a pre-select on the text and colors, right? Now uh, there's a few other options that you can have them. You can see it's just options to choose. How do you want them to be? Uh, when you go to custom design, this is exactly what this is. So preset drawings, you can select them however you want, or you can start from scratch, fill color capacity, you can change the color for you, and coming to the corners as well, and that's going to be your center. You can have a shadow, so how it shows you the shadow from the videos. Remember that shadow of that box? Well, it's going to do that for your menu as well. Uh, the same. The text is the same, nothing changes. So the text options are going to be the same. So the theme, custom, you can have the font, and you can have the spacing as well. Right? So this is the options, and your font size, your bold and italics, and this is customizing your menu. And you can see, pretty cool, right? You can click more. And also animations how that menu shows up. You, you already have that experience with the animations from the other materials for text, for video boxes, for boxes, for audio players, for everything that you add, you can have an animation, primarily. Now, you can actually have this pinned to screen or not pinned to screen. It's how you want. So if you want to pin it to the left, you can, in the center, to the right, to the middle, bottom, right, and you have all of those as well, and you can have that offset more, right? All right, and this is our menu, and I'm going to just unpin it to the menu and put it right here so we can see it. And that's the menu options. Uh, now, coming and clicking, you're going to bring to this menu, uh, or you can have the manage menu, the navigation as well. All right, so that's this menu. Now, let's go to add. The horizontal menus is exactly horizontal, the vertical menus. It's vertical, however you want. It's the same as, as I just showed you. 
So the only thing that changes when you see all of these, the theme menus, it's just pre-selected my menus, which is uh, what I created, all right? And then we have the themed, we have the horizontal, which makes them horizontal, the pre-selection. You've seen this in manage, the vertical, it's the same as well. And now the anchor menus, this is what's great. So the anchor menus is what you're going to see, but what nobody else is going to see when you're editing your website. So an anchor is exactly what's going to take you to a specific location on the site, and it's how when you click this button, it takes you to that page. And we're going to go over that too. Now, this is just for you. If you want to customize it for you, you're going to see it right here. Now, you can add, do the layout. You can. It's all of the same as previously stated before for the other menus, the animation, the design, etc. All right. Uh, let's see. Now, let's go back to add. And you're, nobody's going to see this, by the way. For the anchors, only you're going to see this. All right. Now, going to anchors. All right. Now, this is the anchor menu again. It's just going to show you the little tabs. It's just, you should, it's very important that you catch this idea, right? So, again, no one's going to see this. Secondly, have it organized. So, if you just have anchor one, anchor two, anchor three, as it's showing you, it can be quite confusing to where it's taking you, and you're going to waste a lot of time. So anytime that you're going to create an anchor, you should label it what? If it's going to take you to about me information, for example, if it's going to take you to a gallery, you should exactly say about me anchor, or about me, or you should have gallery, video player, etc., etc., etc. You should label these anchors exactly so that when you see them in your menu, because you're not going to see them when you go to the preview, you're not going to see it as an anchor this way. But when you're editing them or changing them, you want to have this so you're not wasting any time, right? Now, this is probably the most important that you can kind of understand for the website because when you're doing this, it's the whole dynamic of your website. So you can just have everything on one page and you can scroll down and waste all of this time and that can be very annoying, right? The anchor, you can go click home and it takes you exactly to the home page. If you have an about, you click about and it takes you all the way down. This depends on how much content you have on your website. So anchors really make this awesome, right? It makes it more professional, more presentable and a lot less time consuming. So place your anchor. We're going to rename it, and I'm going to say more, just for now. Uh, and I'm going to finish it. We're going to go to settings, and you're going to see this. Now, do you see more? That's that name. You would see this as anchor one if you didn't change the name. Now, this is more. Uh, let's go up, uh, or go down. Ah, let, we're going to use this. Perfect. All right. Go down, scroll down. Now, you see this borderline here? Now, I'm going to show you a little something. Notify me. Uh, just for now, I'm going to push this line. Now, you see how it highlights here? This line is borderline. Notify me. It's probably worse for more, but well, it's still under classified, right? It's still classified as notify me or more information. So now we have this anchor here, right? I'm going to move my toolbox just for now to this side. All right, now that's our anchor. Now, when you put it exactly over a specific location, whether it's a video player or this notify me box, which this is a box for subscriber forms, uh, or some kind of material that you have, it could be grids for pictures, galleries, etc. When you push this over, this is exactly the location when you click the button. More. Uh, all right. Now we're going to, we don't want to rename it, and we have our first anchor. All right, cool. Now you can see that top of the page and more, that's our first anchor. This is what you see, right? So they're not going to see this anchor menu, but you are. So because we renamed it, you can see that it actually added that anchor menu here. That's only for you to see, so your customers or the people that are on your website will not see it. Now let's go right back up here. We can click more. We're going to manage the menu. Uh, da, 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 hello. And we're going to navigate. 
to the new page. Ah, let's add a button. Uh, we're going to add the button here. All right, the button. We're going to drag and drop. We're going to put it exactly right here. Let's rename it to notify me. All right. Add this link. Now, once you add the link, you can have it to another web address, a page, an anchor, document, email, phone number, or a light box. So you, when you click that, it's going to take you straight there. All right. I'm going to do anchor and which page? Hello. All right. This. And anchor on the page. First, add an anchor. And there we go. All right. Now, what does it say? Notify me. And what is it linked to? Text only. All right. I'm going to scroll back down to our menu. Manage menus and the home page. Scroll down and let's make this more home. Uh huh. And go back. Link. Anchor. And which anchor on this page? More. Now I was on the wrong page, but here we go to more. Now, so we added that anchor to more and we're on the home page because we needed to change the page here. I was actually on hello. We should be on home. Right? Uh, now, when we click more, it's going to take us to the other, right? So done. Now let's go to preview. Now, now you see when I hover over how it lights that box up. Now watch as the anchor works. Notify me, and it takes us straight down to the notify me. Pretty cool, right? So it took it straight there to notify. Pretty cool, right? So notify me button, and it takes you straight there. Now this is how the anchors work. I'm going to delete these and go back to editor and that's how the anchor system works right so no need to panic no need to worry and I'll show you again here we're going to go to add we're going to go right back down to menu anchors anchor one Scroll down, and here, see? And as we're adding them as well. Now that we have more than one, I'm just going to name it my, for now. And that's the other anchor, right? Now, let's add another button. Here's our buttons. And let's join us link the button to the anchor now we're on our home page this page you have more or my done and we're going to go to preview and join us do you see how that worked and you, you can move that more over as well do you see how that works and, that, and when you have that menu for the anchor menu, because only you can see this, you can go to the top of the page, more or my, etc. Because my and more are really in the same location, but the more you add content and you move those anchors to where you want, you can do this to navigate for you. Back to editor, and here you go. Do you see how cool and easy that is and how useful? Uh, that is the anchors and it's very simple so you just move this borderline to the content you've already created and you link it to the name that you do on the button and there you go in the page you're going to change back and forth as well so it's very simple very easy to really create that for your site uh, anchor menus I just showed you this and the site search box well guess what the site search box is exactly how to find something on your site and let's add to the site. Give it just a moment. This is going to be really helpful too. So if you don't want to scroll down or click on a button, they can just type in a specific name. 
and be able to search for something on your site. So you have the settings, right search, you have the layout of the box, and you're going to be able to change it, the margins the same, uh, the animations as well. And here you go, enable a quick search, and it's going to pull up everything that you want to pull for your site. And search results. There you go. And that's simple. And we can change this to however you want as well. You can do the animation for when you're going over the side box the same as in the previous videos. I hope you guys caught it. If you didn't quite understand, go over the page again. It's very fast. It's very easy. And hit subscribe so you can see in the future videos how we're going to use them as well and what other options we're going to have. Leave a comment, let me know if you understand or not understand, and how I can make it easier for you. And I can't wait to catch you again on our next tips and tricks for Wix.com.